to really hurt your opponent. It's no use just flailing at him and hoping you get lucky. You need technique, but using skilled moves is no easy matter. There's no miraculous strikes you can learn that will ensure you win every duel. You've got to work those techniques into your combat, force your opponent into a position you want him in, and then attack unexpectedly. Ow. Ow. See? I strike from overhead, then slash from the side, back swing lowdown. So you expect me to strike from below, but then I turn the sword and strike you with the other side. Once more, defend. Now, you try it. Strike from above, then from the right, then slash. Strikes have to follow quickly, one after the other. As soon as one lands, you start the next. You have to keep exactly to the sequence, otherwise it won't come off. Slash from above. Slash from the right. Slash from below. Go! Good. Again! That's it. Try it once more. Try to catch the roof. As soon as one blow lands, change the target zone and strike again. Right away. Don't... No, no, no! You have to strike me three times. Three times! Good. All right. You can learn lots of similar techniques with every weapon. Train and practice. Ugh. I think I've mastered the basics. I see. I'm pretty good with this. You're a bit cocky, ain't you? All right, then. Let's see what you can... I'm ready. ready for the next lesson. Now, pay close attention. I'll teach you the most important thing. It's good to be able to attack, and it's good to be able to fend off your opponent's blows. But the best is when you're able to do both at once. A master stroke is when you parry your opponent's blow and strike him at the same time. Attack me, and I'll show you how it's done. See? I parry and strike in one move. There's no defense against this technique if it's executed well. The thing is to time it right. 
Block right into your opponent's strike and match your movement to his. One elegant technique and the fight is won. Try it. I'll attack slowly. You parry. Ah, that's it! Not bad. Good. I'd like to improve. Certainly. I'd like to practice. All right. Now, a closer. I'd like to improve. Certainly. I'm interested in more. All right, but now, hey. I'd like to learn. Certainly. I'm interested in more. Wouldn't you rather learn? Well. Can you teach me? Certainly. I'd like to practice. All right. Now. Can you teach me? Certainly. I'm interested in. All right. Now. want to really hurt your opponent. It's no use just flailing at him and hoping you get lucky. You need technique, but using skilled moves is no easy matter. There's no miraculous strikes you can learn that will ensure you win every duel. You've got to work those techniques into your combat, force your opponent into a position you want him in, and then attack unexpectedly. Ow. See? I strike from overhead. Then slash from the side and back swing low down. So you expect me to strike from below, but then I turn the sword and strike you with the other side. Once more, defend. Now, you try it. Strike from above, then from the right, then slash. The strikes have to follow quickly, one after the other. As soon as one lands, you start the next. You have to keep exactly to the sequence, otherwise it won't come off. Slash from above, slash from the right, slash from below. Go! Ugh. Good. Again! Good. Again! Good. Again! All right. You can learn lots of similar techniques with every weapon. Train and practice. I'd like to train a bit. Right. What weapon would you like? I'll try to make. And I'll take a shield, too. Right, lad. God damn!
I'd like to train. A bit cocky. I never learned as much with a wooden sword as with a real weapon. The old master swordsman says a true apprentice of the martial arts should be wounded. Some say he should even try what it's like. Let's fight, then. Have no fear. I won't kill you. But you might get hurt, and if you do, I won't bandage you. You'll have to deal with the consequences yourself. Sorry. Greetings. I'd like to... Sir. Here you are. Take care now. The law be... I'd like to enroll... All right. Of course. I'll write your name. And I need to know what weapon you... Longsword. Good. Meeting face to face in this round will be... Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzik Kobla. Who will measure his skills against? Alder Friar, a man at arms from Sir Divish of Townburg's garrison. Let us wish the combatants luck. The combatants have entered the arena and the first duel may commence. We will witness a duel with longswords. Yeah. 
And now's the time to choose weapons for the next duel. Our combatants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. They shall proceed to the next round of the Ratai Tournay. Meeting face to face in this round will be Henry of Skullets from the company of Sir Ratai Kabla. And his adversary will be Obram, known as Sparrowhawk, Archery Master of Kalin. Let us wish the combatants luck! The combatants have entered the arena and the first duel may commence! We will witness a duel with longswords! second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields.
Entering the arena now will be Henry of Skullets from the company of Sarate Kobla. And his adversary will be the victor of many previous tournays and a combatant today too, Peter, called Black Peter. Welcome, our warriors. And this very first bout will afford plenty of entertainment. We will witness a duel with longswords.
The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. Our combinants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. Whoa! What's the matter? Lost your balls. for which we all owe gratitude to Sir Hanush of Lipa. All glory to the victor, Henry of Scalitz, man-at-arms in the company of Sir Radzik Kobila. His prize will be given to him by our gracious Sir Hanush. Did it in the end, Henry. No doubt you're well satisfied. And I'm sure you'll be happy with this prize. I well, certainly am, my lord. Thank you, sir. Farewell.
Who's there? might get away in one piece. You wouldn't be the first or the last. You'll get what for? Is that all you've got? Ah! Thank you. You burned it. God be with you.
Don't you want a little wager on the Rattay Tourney? What's that? Hey, you think you could just walk off with my pride? Wait here for me. Stay.
Hey, lad! Don't you want a little wait? Good day to you. God be with you.
to me. I'm over here. Ugh! 
没。
Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Yeah. 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 Hey, yo. God save you, good. I'm Henry from Scallet, and I'm looking to mill a bit. Hmm. I expect the tailor in Sasso has received some valuable brocade. Can you get it for me? No problem. It'll be here in no good. It ought to be at his shop. Bring the whole bolt. I'd like you to take. Certainly. I'm interested in. All right, but it'll. Now, pay close. Good luck to you. Got some good. Let's have a word I Yeah! 
Yeah. This won't take I'm good. Yeah. What's the matter? Ah. Enough. 
Please, look, it was... No excuses. Here. You got the thrushing you deserved. I'll amend my life. Hey! You! Don't you really let him go? And did you get the loot back? I did. Thank you, that thieving magpie. Ahem. <clears throat> and just... Thanks. You there! Stop! Surrender! You win! So it's you! You were seen starting... Well, you won't forget this in a hurry, because it'll take a nice... All right. You purged yourself. Be Jesus Christ. with you. Any chances? Well, come to think, there is one rather delicate matter to attend. He said he'd come from the Holy Land, and he was selling various relics he'd collected on it. I see. Well, I heard he had some fragments of a sacred... But by the time he reached me, he had no pieces left of the sword. All he had was some dubious wares, splinters from our... And where did the pieces of the... He sold them off to swordsmiths and blacksmiths hereabouts. They just keep them lying around at home for good luck. If I... Can you even imagine what power it would command? If you could get me all the... Well, it does sound very interesting. I'll ask... Excellent. You'll see... About that sort... Isn't it a bit strange? Are you suggesting you might have been lying? Well... People aren't to be trusted, but this is nothing to joke about. What kind? What do you think? It brought his bearer good luck in combat. Are you sure? Who else would she be? Have you not heard of her? Our some priest. She's in the Bible. Uh -huh. Where can I? Like I said, the smith hereabouts bought them from it. They say the largest piece is with the Ratai swordsmith. Bastard probably won't want to sell. About I could do with a sword like that. What if you Well, everything has its price. But this one would be expensive. Getting hold of the bits is one thing. Forging them back together. Good luck to you. <laughs>
Good health to you, sir. God be with you. Back trouble for something. Damn. Day to you. Be quick about it. I hope I can be of. Is there anything in. Well, there's two good for nothings from Scarlets who are a thorn in my side. It's one thing sympathizing with them after what. I'll catch them red handed sooner or later. Well... God be with you. Look out. It. Sin! Nothing but sin! Betrayal of the fate and betrayal of My respects. Can you show me how? Certainly. I'm interested in. Wouldn't you rather look? Well. Thank you. 
plate. Then buy this powder made of a unicorn. Can I take a look inside? What's got into you, boy? The grounds inside the monastery belong to the monks of the Order of St. Benedict. I've been sent here from Talmberg. That'd be the master builder. Or with our brother, the overseer. What matter? It has to do with the... Ah, then that's a matter of supply. You'll want to talk to the overseer. His study's right above us, more or less. Go on. Good luck to you. Good health to you. I've come in the name of Sir Divish. And why is Sir Divish interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it. Or at least its quality. Uh, Thank you. I... I heard that you were late with your payment to the Talmberg Quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments and it took some time before we gathered enough money to pay. Who's in charge of purchasing me? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery. But those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They, had they take care of storage as well? Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. Do you remember when they brought them? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the... And there wasn't anything strange? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. God be with you. If you're not work mm -hmm. If you're not working
Good day to you. The overseer sent me. <sighs> like I've got time to spare to show you round. Where's the scene of the accident? It didn't happen on the main site. It was at the outbuilding next to the church, right under the long stairs before the entrance door. Ask my assistant who's in charge there. You'll easily recognize him. He God be with you.
stone fell on him here. You can still see the marks. Good fella. That's me. There's even more of the bad stone up here. I hope the rest of it won't be falling on people's heads too. This has to be the stone that hit him. I'll take a piece of it. Maybe someone will recognize it.
Yeah! I hope I... Sir Divis. Well, he's not wrong. Thanks. What happened with the stone? A piece broke off one and fell on someone. And they blame it on the quality of the stone. And... It's not. I sent them the best stone. It will be a sin to cut corners. <sighs> I'm sorry you have so many worries. It'll end, one way or the other. Take care now. Here's the cursed stone. It's old and weathered. But this isn't my stone. What? Well, this stone isn't from my quarry. See the grain? That's not from the weather. Farewell. 
Did you send the last delivery of stone in smaller... No. Why would we do that? We always deliver it in big blocks. Oh, that's odd. They told me they were glad you got them. But that's not possible. It seems the stone you sent never arrived and they got this instead. Unthinkable. I delivered the last shipment myself because I wanted to exchange a few words. And someone must have replaced them on site. But what would the builders have out of it? To replace it and then say... I don't think the builders know what happened. Most likely it's someone else who has their finger. A thief? What do you know? There was an accident in the monastery. Take care now. I'm honored that a knight saw. Has anything else on you? I can think of a couple of things. When we were extending the scaffolding, they dug up a human skull by the wall. With hor- A skull with horns? I don't know. I didn't see it with my own eyes, but there were enough witnesses. You can ask Lesh- What about the second thing? One of our work- And that's unusual. Somewhat. Usually, if someone runs away, they take things with them. But he left everything here, absolutely everything, and dis- I looked around, and the stone that fell on the- Yes, it's very poor. But we have to work with what we've got. We didn't have anything else, and we couldn't wait for- That's not what I meant. It's not the same kind of stone that came from Talmberg. But why would anyone... Well, maybe he was stealing new stone and replacing it with old stuff. But the carriage never moved. It rained a lot and we couldn't get any work done. So someone had to take it out without... That huge piece of rock. It would take a few strong men to shift something that size. I know you're trying... Take care now. Have you been? I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. I heard you found some. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it so the others wouldn't see. And what was it that nobody was supposed to? What do you think? And where is it now? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only I dropped... Hmm. I'll see if I can find it. Good luck to you. To me. Yeah. Yeah!
Hmm. It looks genuine, but I'm not capable of judging. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Hey. Good day to you. What are you doing here? Clear off quick. I found this skull. Thrown out. It certainly looks like it. Well, let's see. Those are deer antlers that someone's fit. I'm glad to hear it's not the real thing. Someone must have put it there deliberately, knowing that's where they... And they put a lot of work into it, too. The horns are held on tight, even though it was lying in water. Whoever did, take care now. God be with you. You know the head they found? What about it? Someone put it there on purpose. After they stuck horns on it to make it look... What a ridiculous thing to do. Who's responsible? And where did he find the skull? I don't know. I'll try. Have you seen... I saw him. What do you want? I want to talk to him about the head he dug up. Really? That's interesting. Why? He asked me to meet him on the scaffolding tonight, so he can tell me something important. So he did have something to do with the skull? Maybe. But I'd wager someone made him do it. He doesn't seem the type to come up with something like that on his own. I'm planning to go and meet him. Will you come with me? It will be safer with the two of us. I'll go. Very well. We'll meet at night. If I'm not down at the bottom, then look for me at the top. All right.
Don't kill me. I'll tell you everything. Who are you? I, I'm just a worker here. He, he told me that if I take care of you, then he'll forgive my debts. I, I didn't want to, but he forced me to do it. Who sent you? It, it was the Master Builder's helper. What? He was supposed to... He isn't. He went to the mill nearby when he found out Leshek was hiding out there. Fuck. What am I supposed to... I was aiming to miss. On purpose. I wanted to scare you off and... And then say I missed. D -d -d Fine. But I don't want to see you... Thank you. What the hell are you doing? That's Leszek, isn't it? Yes, it's him. I found him. And now I'm... So did you drop a stone block on his head too? Or did you face up to him like a man? I don't know what the hell you're... T you wanted to have me killed too, didn't you? But Leszek, you killed yourself. I tell you, he's not dead. See for yourself. Bring it on! Ah. 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 
You to clear off. You should have thought. Damn it. All right. <laughs> eh? You. What the hell are you fooling around here for? I've got good news. And the construction? We'll continue. The Master Builder's helper was to blame for everything. That's good. You've accomplished your task admirably, Henry. Thank you, Sir Divis. Farewell. <laughs> <laughs> 